here. Hi! Hi guys, um, I'm Maddie and I'm trying as I go. And this is hair that I washed last night and I just took it down and and now it's crazy, so <laughs> a little wavy curly action for ya. Hi! Um Yeah, I'm trying as I go. <laughs> um <laughs> Um, this is going to be my, what, shot my stash for my June overview and my July roll-ins. Um, I'm a little bit later, Gator. It is the 7th. It's been crazy. With, um, 4th of July and craziness. I really like this lipstick. It's in my, um, color pan project. Alrighty, let's go over stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's go for samples first. Let's do overview. Um, I had this Elizabeth Arden retinol ceramide capsules. I had two of these in there. Um, I really liked it, but it kind of felt like Vaseline, but it made my skin soft. So, yay. So, I'm finished with that. For my perfume sample... I had Nomad by Chloe. Um, I'm going to start doing, like, they have, like, fragrance samples have a month. And if they're not done within the month, they're going to go back to the sample bag to be used at a later date. Because, y'all, these samples taking up two, three months. And I, I want to roll through them. Get some use on them. Um, and then, of course, right there. So, yeah, that's going to go back in the sample bag. I know it's weird, but. Oh, and this is kind of musky, like ma masculine. It's very masculine. And I don't know, like, I don't know. The bottle looks very feminine, though. Like a very pretty bottle. But it's very, like, spicy and musky. Fresh and feminine floral, cypress characters of oak moss, limited by radiant fresca, and crisp tangy mirabella. I don't know. I don't think I got floral from it. I don't know. For my palette, I did NYX Ultimate Utopia. Um, I've been in like a two shadow look for a while. I don't know if I'm going to blind it here. So I used that one in the crease. Used that one in the crease. Use that one in the crease. Um, use this one. I'm not even showing it. This is blue. All over. Use this all over. Use that all over. And I think that's it. But um, I got some use on it. And I'm excited. Because I think I bought this in the fall last year. This is the first time I'm getting used out of it, so yay! It's gonna go back in the collection. Um, another yes, please is whoops, sorry. This Garnet Skin Active BB Cream. I really like this. It it doesn't look like a good shade match. It's in um, light medium, but it looked really good for shade match for me. So that's great. Um, I really like this Laura Geller Shine Stick gloss little nude guy I like that I liked how it felt um really like the Revlon color burst and cherish can't really see just bitten bald and stain and cherish um got a lot more to go on it but it's nice to rotate and that's what this project is all about already new rotation new month new Rollins still have not moved. Alrighty. I'm just going to do grab bag style. Um, for the palette, I have BH Opalescent. Um, I bought this recent. And this looks really pretty for summer. Um, it's got a lot of um, brown shades. <laughs> Um, it's got a lot of crease shades, and then it's got a lot of shimmery eye shades, which, I mean, I'm really into just a basic crease and just one 
to shadow look type of thing. So I'm excited to use this. For my face palette, I have Sephora, the Beauty Giving Back face palette. It's an oldie. What a goodie. We have cream blushes down this way. Powder blushes down this way. Bronzy highlighter thing. Actually, that's a highlight too. And ombre highlighter bronzer thing. I think this came out in like 2014. I don't know. I don't know when it came out, but it's been living in my collection and I haven't been using it. And I get. I need some love. I'm really excited to use it. Um, for my single blush, I have this. That, never mind. Bronzer. Single bronzer, I have this Buxom in Tahiti. Looks like that. It's very shimmery. For my small eyeshadow thing palette, this is Bare Minerals palette. Looks like that. And it's the shade The Truth. It's very dark. Oof. There we go. Very deep and dark, but I feel like I would like it. I think at one point this was Pan That Palette. No! Um, I don't know that everyone says Pan That Palette. Okay, blush. This is the blush I was going to talk about. Single and breathless. This is a flamingo pink. Flamingo pink. I know you're not seeing it, but I'm seeing it. I wonder if I could do some light over here for y'all. Flamingo pink. <laughs> there we go. It's so pretty. Just dab it. Like, what else are you going to use this? <laughs> it's summer, y'all. Um... Becca, under eye brightening cream, 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 eye cream. It's just gonna stay in there. All my other um, concealers are packed away. I'm trying to move. It's hard. It's hard market. Um, for fragrance sample, I have Giorgio Armani C. Okay, looks like that. The new floral fragrance. And then just says stuff. It's a new floral fragrance. I like a good floral. Makes me happy. Um, for liquid lipstick, I have the Stila Sealed Eye Liquid Lipstick in Perla. Very neutral. I think I went with a neutral theme. Oof. It's a brownie mommy. You see it? We will see it, Barla. I have a lot of these. I need to work through them. Start using them. Yep, I want brownie mommy. Um, Clinique Chubby Stick and a whole lot of honey. And that's it right there. I was in a mood for neutrals. Whoopsies. Um, for foundation, I have Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, um, SPF 20 Cream Hydro Tintier, and 1W1 Porcelain. Looks like this. I like this one. I didn't pay full price. For highlighter, I have this highlighter duo from Stila in the shade Love Shimmer Duo and Kitten. One of these is Kitten. And the other one's something else. It doesn't say. I think this one's kitten. And this one's something. Or that one's kitten. I don't know who kitten is. I have steel of shadows too. Um, for my other sample I have ex 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 Exuviant Skin Rise Morning Glow. Firmly to lightly exfoliate, awaken, and bang great. 
one pad. I'm assuming it's an exfoliating pad. Follow cleansings. Following cleansing, smooth pad over entire face and neck. Massage in remaining surface fluid. I have to start the day. I have to cleanse my skin. Start the day with this. Bring new life to stress skin. Start the day with bionic. Power boost designed to gently exfoliate skin surface and give rise to radiant luminous glowing complexion. Maybe on a no makeup day. Nice little Saturday, Sunday. Um, for face powder, I have this e.l.f. powder in what? Fairlight? Yeah. Because I'm Pisces. Single eyeshadow, I have this NYX single eyeshadow in the shade After Party. Watch that. I did. There we go. It's like a greeny neutral. Just get me a neutral. Make me happy. For lip gloss, I have Victoria's Secret Strawberry Fizz. This is the the fancy the fancy one. This one. I think my lipstick is coming out. I just threw on makeup today. For Chapstick, I have this purple EOS. It's purple and stripy. For primer, I have baby skin from Maybelline. For lipstick, I have this NYX Filler Instinct lipstick in the shade Beach Casual. I have two of these. Looks like that. Yeah, I was in a neutral zone. Oops. For cream eyeshadow, I have Colourpop Telepathy. Again, I'm going through cream, like the same three cream eyeshadows for um, this project. It's hard. Um, and as always, I have Revlon and Colorstay Eyeliner and Cocoa, just because all my other eyeliners are packed away. And Maybelline. Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Liquid Liner. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, sorry for being later, Gator, this month. Um, life just got ahead of me, and I'm behind on a lot of things. But this is something that I need to put up for y'all. Um, as always, this is me shopping my stash, getting a little bit of use in on as many products as I can each month. That way I don't have any products that like go unused for like years in here. Um, it's very helpful. You know, especially with lip products just because I tend to wear a lip and blush and eyeshadows and I want all that. But yeah. So it gives me a little bit of free time to play. Um, I don't know. I feel bad if somebody, especially with the stuff for the BH and the Sephora palette. Well, I mean, you can you can find a blush palette anywhere, but like if you're really like wanting that palette, I feel bad. But um, it's my shop, my stash. It's what I can do. Trying to get use and love out of my makeup. And kind of enjoying this hairstyle. Like, who am I? Do I have wavy hair? I don't know. Is this genetics? Ugh. Maybe I actually do have wavy hair. Because it's, it, it's thick. But um, each individual strand is fine and thin. So maybe. Tell me down in the comments if I have wavy hair. Or if my lipstick looks terrible, comment me. Hi. Alrighty, bye guys. I'm getting rambly.